Raiders, start your engines! that curve on the right side as he's trying to get inside his uh, old teammate there Clint Boyer made a little contact to his left rear or right rear that's a lot of smoke I don't know I'd be worried about that okay. oh spin I and that down. is McDowell veteran road racer stage one William Byron and a Hendrick Chevrolet comes across the line to pick up his first stage win See, and the first laps he's ever led on a road course. And that was in dominating fashion, too. Hendrick Motorsports has led every lap today so far. We'll get a little testy here at the top of this hill. Let's see what oh, Jurex can see do. see Chase Elliott runs wide in turn one. Yep, open you know, door. That's why you really question if you're the leader, which lane do you want to choose? Because what's the inside quickly turns to the outside. Uh-oh. Tough on Eric got... Almarola, who's around. He was 23rd. Here he comes. Bright yeah. yellow and yeah, black. He see, he's kind of putting a block, I believe, is at um, McDowell. Yep. Yeah, you can see he moved down, and McDowell was just already committed to that breaking zone, and I just don't think he could get it slowed down enough to stay out of the, the, the right rear of the 21 Menard. And, Mike, again, that's that, that entry I was talking about. You will stay out and make a little late entry, make good time that way, but you can't do it when somebody's racing you. Ooh, now there's some heavy damage to the... The, the 11 of Denny Hamlin, they're making the call to stay out since so many other cars have already pitted their teammate, the 19, into their box. Around turn 11 into the start-finish line, Denny Hamlin's going to get his second stage win of 2019. By about three seconds in front of Brad Keselowski. William Byron, Joey Logano, and Ricky Stenhouse. Remember that last time when we got a restart, Chase Elliott was leader, chose the inside, which is now the outside. I think Truex learned quite a bit from that. You know what Truex did? He slid that nine whoa. up the hill a little bit, but I don't think the nine. Whoa, whoa, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kyle's going to blame that one on, on the brakes, I think. <laughs> yeah, he had none. <laughs> Coming down here into turn 11 under heavy braking, Stenhouse Oops. looks to the inside. Oops. <laughs> Oops. For a hole that was not there. And, and you know, it's so hard for these spotters to see that section. I'm not saying that's what happened there, but I mean, when a car dives in that late, you got to know that, that 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 bump, if he's there with his bumper, you got to you got to give him that information. And I just don't know if Ryan Priest knew that Ricky Stenhouse Jr. was making that late move. You so, believe in is that? Is that from the 12 car? No, I, I didn't see him make that much contact. No, I didn't either. Wow. I smashed that M&M. Right nah, oh, oh, low oil pressure, quit oh. running. Low oil pressure, did Thanks he say? That's what I thought I heard, too. But this is getting interesting, guys. Yeah, Coming to five to go. This could be a cluster buster down here at turn 11. All right, McDowell stays wide. Now the question is, will he let our second place runner, Kyle Busch, get by? Oh, it's going to be so important for Kyle to make a clean pass on the 34 minute yeah. out. Yeah, baby. Here comes Kyle up beside you, bud. There you go. I heard Clayton all day long. He, wasn't he <laughs> taking a nap up there? It's Clayton Hughes, a spotter. 23rd career victory for Truex. He won at Charlotte in May. Fourth win of the year. And it's his fourth season with at least four wins. And today's victory was fueled by Sunoco. Sunoco, fuel your best. 